In this video, we will take you through all the steps of a generic order to cash process in a typical manufacturing or retailing company. We begin with explaining how you create a sales order where we specify the customer we are selling to and the products being sold. In the next step, we will demonstrate a delivery process in which we ship the goods to the customer. After that, we will show you how to create an invoice, and finally, you will see how a payment receipt is posted in financial accounting. We will now begin with creating a sales order. In this example process, we will assume that a customer of ET Germany, company code ET01 in Frankfurt, has ordered a tablet computer through the German sales organization ET15. To create a sales order, go to Logistics, Sales and Distribution, Sales, Order, Create. Here we first need to enter a sales order type. This classifies the sales order. For example, there is a sales order type for standard order, like in this case, as well as for returns, credit notes, or debit notes. The sales organization is the main organizational entity in sales, as we explained in Chapter 4. As we mentioned before, we will assume in this example that the sale was made through sales organization ET15. In addition, we enter a distribution channel. This organizational unit can be used to differentiate the different ways of selling to customers, for example, direct sales, or through retailers. Finally, we also maintain a division. Divisions are also organizational units and help you to differentiate your own organization, for example, into a hardware division and a software division. In the sales order itself, we first enter the customer number to whom we are selling. A customer is a master data entity, as we explained in Chapter 5. In this case, we are using a customer master record we already created before. At the bottom, we enter the master record for the material being sold and the sales quantity. Like the customer master, this record was created before we entered the sales order. Once we hit the return key on the keyboard, the system will show some of the data maintained in the material master record. The description, the unit of measurement, the plant from which the material is being shipped, and the earliest date it is available. Finally, we check the sales price for the product. Now we are saving the sales order and get a confirmation message from the system at the bottom. The next step in our order to cash process is the goods delivery to the customer. To create a delivery note, we are leaving the menu tree for sales and head to Shipping and Transportation, Outbound Delivery, Create, Single Document, with reference to sales order. The shipping point is an organizational unit which specifies where we are shipping from. We then enter the delivery date and the sales order for which we would like to make a shipment. The system is copying all the necessary information from the sales order. For example, the customer is already defaulted as the ship to party, and the material number ready for shipment is also preselected. We now check the shipment quantity and confirm the picking quantity. Picking in this case means that the material was taken from the warehouse and made ready for transportation. Finally, we post the goods issue. At this moment, the system reduces the stock quantity in materials management and at the same time posts a financial document for the material consumption. We then save the delivery note and get a confirmation from the system. Once the delivery note is finished, we are ready to create an invoice. To do so, we enter the billing submenu in Sales and Distribution and then choose Billing Document, Create. When creating the invoice, we reference the delivery note. In the invoice document itself, 
there is nothing left to be maintained manually, as all the required information is copied from the delivery note and or the sales order. The customer, material number and quantity, as well as the net value. We then save the invoice and receive a confirmation message from the system. We have now created both an invoice document in the SD module to be printed and sent to the customer, as well as a financial document to track the open receivable against the customer. To check what was posted in financial accounting, we first choose Display to see the SD invoice. The accounting button opens the financial document. Here you can see that the document was posted as a debit to the customer account and as a credit to a sales revenue account. In financial accounting, this has two impacts. On the one hand, the sales revenue and therefore the company profit was increased. On the other hand, we just posted an open receivable to the customer. This open receivable will help us track how much money this customer still owes us. The last step in our order to cash process is a payment receipt. Let's assume the customer has paid the invoice we sent him. We will now show you how to post this incoming payment. For this transaction, we are leaving the sales and distribution menu as well as the logistics menu altogether and head to the accounting menu. Here we choose financial accounting, accounts receivable, document entry, incoming payments. As you know already from Chapter 3, we need to enter both a document date and a posting date for a financial document. The company code and currency were already predefined in this case. For the posting, we first need to enter the bank account to which we received the payment. Then we enter the payment amount the customer sent us and the customer number. Pressing the button Process Open Items will bring up all the open receivables for the customer. The system automatically matches the only existing item against the payment we are receiving so that it appears in the assignment field. Before we post, we will check what the document will look like and choose Document, Simulate. As you can see, the system is going to debit the bank account and credit the customer account. Thus, the customer account is cleared, which means we no longer have any open receivables from the customer. Finally, we post the document and receive a confirmation message as usual. This takes us to the end of our demonstration of an order to cash process. You have seen an example of how to create a sales order, delivery note and invoice, and in the end, how to post an incoming payment from a customer.